We will see you soon. Thank you, Chris. Well, as part of our forecasting our future series, today's focus is on Charleston as the feasibility phase of a proposed seawall around Charleston Peninsula is nearly completed. Meteorologist Griffin Hardy talked to the city of Charleston and the Army Corps of Engineers to learn how this proposed project could change the city. Griffin. Well, Nigel and Gabby, the initial phase of the proposed seawall construction project is almost done and ready to be submitted to Congress for approval soon. And if and when this project gets approved, the design phase would start sometime next year. And it hopes to address the threat of both strong hurricanes and long-term sea level rise for the city of Charleston into the future. A detailed report from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, says that on average, sea levels across the United States are expected to rise from 10 to 12 inches by 2050. That means the threat of flooding and storm surge from future hurricanes and severe weather could get worse. So now, the city of Charleston and the Army Corps of Engineers want to expand the seawall to go around Charleston Peninsula along the Ashley and Cooper Rivers. We are in the initial phase, so the Corps of Engineers has a four-phase process. We're in the feasibility phase. And the ultimate purpose of this feasibility phase is to determine whether or not there's a federal interest in a storm surge solution on the peninsula. And if so, we're going to outline a project recommendation. So there's surge risk, tidal risk, uh, stormwater risk, riverine flood risk. There's groundwater flood risk, and this is something that is going to start to occur more and more and more along coastal areas. The seawall itself is intended to address multiple types of flooding Charleston is prone to, which is not just from long-term sea level rise, but also from tidal events and especially storm surge. Storm surge is often the most, the most deadly and the most impactful type of event. The problem for the public is that these things don't occur very often. They may occur once every 30 years, and so out of sight, out of mind. But if they occur and you're vulnerable to it, um, they're just, they impact things for a decade and cost a lot of money. And so the idea with a storm surge protection system is that you would prevent the losses from happening. One of the concerns from the public is what a seawall surrounding the perimeter of this historic city would look like. We are only in the first phase of this. We have a lot of unanswered questions of what is the what is that solution going to look like? For instance, what is the storm surge wall going to look like, you know, around this historic, beautiful city? And all these questions that we have right now will be answered in the detailed design phase if and when Congress authorizes and appropriates funding for us to move into that next phase. So if this project is approved by Congress, they expect that seawall to be about 12 feet tall. And as of right now, according to the Army Corps of Engineers, the estimated total cost of the project would be about $1.1 billion. But experts, experts say without that seawall, the damage from sea level rise could be as much as upwards of $10 billion from future storms in the future. For now, we, as we are forecasting our future, I'm meteorologist Griffin Hardy, WYFF News 4, back to you.